What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 4. Today we're diving in Peyton Benjamin, 28-2, diving in against Marlon Moraes. The man he won the Bantamweight title off so long ago, we're diving in. But uh, first and foremost, let's uh, let's get some of this stuff going. We've got so many damn points and we're going to be spending them very, very crazily. Let's go, max punch power. We're going to go for max speed. We've near enough got 100 strike in there, so that's crazy. Our health as well, we're definitely going to take a look at some of this. Repair some of this stuff here. And uh, there we go. We're looking pretty damn good. Got some clinch strike in there as well. We have just spent over 200 points. And Peyton Benjamin's still a four-star fighter, really? I'd say he's about four and a half, maybe even a five. Uh, but here we go. Going to dive in against Marlon Rice. 105, uh, zero, uh, 1.05 million there for a show against uh, Marlon. And of course, if we win, that's an extra million, I believe. So Peyton Benjamin raking in the money. This is another fight at Bantamweight. If we win this fight, you've got to think, you know, it's time for the flyweight super fight. Obviously losing the featherweight one uh, a little while ago. Now, uh, I've got to say, Peyton Benjamin, probably one of the best Bantamweights ever. I've got to say, he's, he's definitely the best Bantamweight on the channel. I don't know about the greatest of all time because he has had them two defeats. Um, but yeah, man, he, you know, you can't fault him. He's definitely up there. Obviously, losing to Arturo Mirez, you know, two weight classes above. That was nothing, really, man, to be honest. That was a big test for Peyton. Both fights, Peyton, uh, you know, he looks good in as well. Both fights that he lost. Good punch. Good head kick there from Marais. You've got to watch them head kicks. He's got to watch ours too, though. Peyton looking very, very powerful early on. Slugging in there a little bit. Shot to the body. Nice straight, timing it well there. Rice goes for the grappling side of MMA and he takes Peyton Benjamin down. Interesting. Peyton get up from here. He does manage to get back to his feet. Nice. Shot there from Rice. Good counter shot there. And Peyton Benjamin says, what are you going to do? Wow. Switch kick to the body. Leg kicks in there as well. Really diverse striking, Peyton Benjamin. Oh, that would have been nasty. Oh, big shot to the liver. Peyton pouring it on now. As he talks Marlon Marais. Hurt his leg there a little bit. Head kick up top there for Marlon. And Peyton says it didn't even bother him. Take down there again from Marlon Marais, looking good early. Not too bad. Peyton has had his moments though. He's hurt him early. How will Marais kind of deal with these early punches and kicks? Another shot to the body. Lovely counter there. Good counter shots here from Peyton. Trying to come underneath with those shots. Catching the leg quite a bit now. Trying to mix it up to strikes a little bit. Is Sam Marlon's tired already? Wow. Wow. Peyton really, really trying to tag the body. Another shot lands. Peyton just backing him up here. Another shot to the body. Busted Peyton's leg a little bit as he taunts Marlon. And even though he was taunting, he's unable to get him down. Crazy. Oh. Peyton doesn't even seem bothered. Okay. We're just picking our shots, boys. We're getting. There it is. Okay. Oh, big up cut there from the rice. Good first round. Cracked him a lot in that first round. Wearing him down. The body shots are working very well for Peyton. That's something we've got to focus on going into this next one. Oh, okay. Busted Peyton's leg a little bit there. Combination there for Benjamin. Look at the bruising. On the side of Marais. Man. If Peyton wins this, he will be getting a flyweight title fight against Austin Bernard, Peyton's old friend and training partner. Very interesting. 
and these will take their toll as this one goes into the ladder round. Well, he's got the longer reach. Okay, can he win it? Yeah, he does. Nice. Oh. The kick in for Peyton. Oh, spinning heel kick. Man. Peyton Benjamin, he is just a freaking gangster. Hates that kick. Man, he's got too many shots in his arsenal. Slaps him. <laughs> okay, Peyton's just having fun. Man, just trying to tag him there. Peyton is teeing off now. I'm looking for one big shot to close the show. Marais, though, gotta give him credit, man. He's eating shots. And both guys really throwing with a Busted up the leg of Marais there. It looked like he checked it, but I guess not. Shots to the body. Peyton looking very, very good. Just chilling on him. Oh, oh, he done it again. TJ Dillashaw style finish there. Slips the kick. That was a really good head movement there by Peyton. What a finish. Flyweight title fight earned. Let's go. Boom, into the cage. What a finish for Peyton Benjamin Jr. Slips that punch, comes back with one of his own. Out goes Marais. It kind of clipped him and then slaps him with a jab there. Beautiful shot. Just clips the top of his head. Boom. Clean as a whistle. Peyton Benjamin, still the bantamweight champion. 29 and 2. Very, very good fight. That has earned him a fight at freaking flyweight. He's going to be fighting for the belt. His old friend, his old training partner. We have finally found out who has been destroying all the Peyton's property. And it is the flyweight champion, Austin Bernard. Obviously taking the belt from Brandon Moreno. You've got to think if Peyton does win the belt, the next fight could be Brandon Moreno um, in the flyweight division. You never know. We'll see what happens anyway. Let's rock and roll. So far though, so good for Peyton. Another win against a very, very tough opponent. Obviously winning the belt off of him so many fights ago. It's kind of fair that we gave him a rematch after all this time. Uh, but there you go, Peyton getting it done again. Beautiful shot. The head movement, that's kind of how he knocks people out now. Ties them out, slips most of their punches, then comes back with something of his own and knocks them out. And we've seen it time and time again. Peyton Benjamin getting another big victory there. Very good finish for him. I don't know what's next uh, in the in the bantamweight division. I know what's next in flyweight is the uh, is the super fight, but I don't know what's next in bantamweight. Obviously, for the flyweight super fight, we will not be playing. We will be simming the fight, so it's going to be very very interesting as well. Is Peyton going to get another belt? We have yet to be seen. Uh, you know, he's already been the flyweight champion. He's already been the bantamweight champion. He tried to fight for the featherweight title. Unfortunately, he did not win there. But there you go. It is what it is. Dominic Cruz just retired as well. That guy does kind of suck. Um, TJ, I, I don't really want to fight TJ again. Now, we're going to set up a fight for Bantamweight. We've beat Sudo, we've beat Marais, we've beat Yan, we've beat Dillashaw, we've beat Munoz, we've beat you. We haven't fought Sandhagen. That could be a fight that we get and uh, a fight that I would look for. Um, the only one really in the top seven. So, we're going to decline the fight with TJ. And uh, I feel like we're going to run into Corey Sandhagen, which would be very, very interesting if we do. Uh, Cejudo, we've already hit alive, so not really looking to that fight, to be honest. Um... Come on. Who are they going to offer? Please. Munoz, we've already ate alive as well. Uh, give me Sandhagen, bro. Come on. Come on. Please. Corey Sandhagen. Jimmy Rivera, we've beat twice. We've got one more decline. Please be someone half decent. Come on. Give me Sandhagen, bro. Come on, Dana. Peter Yan. Fuck's sake, man. So that we can't decline this next fight. Whoever it is, we've got to take. I have a feeling it's going to be Cejudo. Corey Sandhagen. I'll take it. There we go. Up next. Probably not up next. We've got the flyweight title first, and then we're going to dive in to the uh, the bantamweight title fight. But anyway, let's rock and roll. Let's keep going, and uh, let's fight for the flyweight title, man. Let's get it. I'm looking forward to this, because these fights, they, they kind of sculpt their own outcome, and uh, it, it sculpts its career. Now, we've got to see how bad Peyton wants it. The flyweight title is here, you know? Austin Bernard destroyed all of Peyton's stuff when they were friends as well. This dude is a snake, and Peyton Benjamin... Is looking for some judgment, some reckoning. Is he going to be able to get it? A flyweight right, fight. Peyton Benjamin ruled this division for a time. Can he get in there now? 
and uh, you know claim it glory once again. We're gonna see a very high level fight right here, boys. Looking forward to this. These boys train together from day dot almost, almost day one. We're gonna see. Bernard betrayed him so long ago, been destroying all of his stuff, and Peyton didn't even know. He thought it was someone that he was fighting. It wasn't. It was a friend. Insane. We're gonna see. How this goes. Peyton unfortunately there. losing the featherweight title, losing the BMF title. This is his chance at another shot at legacy. Can he do it? Can he beat Austin Bernard? These boys have trained together. They know everything about each other in terms of moves, what they're going to bring out to the table. We're going to see if uh, if Austin can do it. We're going to see if Peyton can do it. Who wants it more? Peyton Benjamin doing a good job of catching those kicks early. But the range, oh, that was a nice counter straight. straight right a big hand. shot. The size might be a problem. Austin is a big flyweight. Trying we'll to see go Peyton to the kind of struggle against the Turo. Nice shot. Going to see. I hope Peyton wins this, man. I want him to beat Bernard bad. We'll see. This could be a war. Peyton being very reserved here. He's thinking about what he's throwing. Bernard's kind of whiffing at a lot of strikes. And that will give him some trouble later on. I do believe. Nice shot there for Peyton. Getting stuck in. He needs to do that more often. A nice switch kick to the body. Goes to throw there. With feints. Both fighters looking very good. Goes to the good knee. Good knee for Bernard there. A little feint. I don't know why Austin out of that kick there. He would, probably would have landed it. Shot there, but it did land to the back of Peyton, which uh, is good for Peyton. He blocks the punch. Decent so far. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Man, striking class is in Take down a 10. Great job landing. What a nice damage. shot there. Peyton's looking good. I'd say he's, he might be winning this round. Bernard's had a lot of big moves. But I'd say Peyton's landing, you know. This is a very even fight so far. Again in the clinch there. Oh, but Bernard rips the chin of Peyton there with a big knee. Not good. Kicked him down there. Isn't going to do too much damage to him. Peyton climbs back up. It's the range. It's the range of Peyton. Rips the body there. Nice knee. Wake you up. This is a close fight. Austin piecing him up there. Peyton really needs to think about what he's throwing. Good first round though. Good first round. I'd say Austin may have just took that because of the shot. They're going to give him all these flashy moves as well, which is annoying. Peyton isn't flashy like that. He just likes to scrap. Round one down though. Round one down. We're going into round two. I think uh, maybe one nil Austin, I'd say, for that fight, for that round. Let's see that. Round two. Let's see what they got. Leg kick there from Bernard. Good shot there, though. Uppercut. Range, though. Flipped him there. That was a good shot. That's what we want. Good movement as well. Peyton could win this, you know. I wouldn't count him out. Catches the kick. Trust to land a spinning elbow. That would have been really good if that landed. Not good for Peyton, but it would have looked good. <laughs> okay. It's finished. That was blocked. That was blocked. Nice that wasn't, though. Good leg kick. Benjamin landed two of his own. Trying that switch kick again. Gets caught. Cool. Big head kick. Jab. Peyton's got to watch his clinch. Bernard's been using that very well. So Peyton's winning this round, he rocked him. He's starting to land a little bit better. Should have gone upstairs with that kick. There we go. Good jab. Snappy jab there. And a nice shot to the body. You can't throw kicks at too close a range. That's something I found out early in uh, UFC, <laughs> in the games. <laughs> Oh, really exploiting yeah. his reach advantage. He's got to get out of this clinch. There, Austin will land a knee in a minute. Oh, big knee Peyton's there. struggling to get out here. Benjamin tries the head kick. Nice leg kick there, this guy. 
Oh, nice jab. I say Benjamin's just taking this round, only just. I say it's 1 1. There is where he should have thrown. Austin, hands down, looking a bit flash here. This is a really interesting matchup. I would, wouldn't mind a rematch. Let me know how you uh, how you guys are scoring it at the minute. If I pause the video and tell me, I'd say it's 1-0 one, one Austin. But Peyton's definitely in this fight. He's landing a lot better shots here. Bernard's getting a little bit tired, though. He's throwing a lot of big moves. Peyton isn't attacking the body as much as he does when I control him. Here we go. Nice shot there. Peyton's starting to evolve. He's starting to adapt, which is what we want. Good spinning back this there, though, for Bernard. Okay. I'd still give this round to Peyton. Good shot. Nice. Nice check as well. Man, this is, this is a tough fight to score. Good shots there for Benjamin, but he eats one of his own. Now going at it. What a fight so far, though. Ten minutes After the round. bell there, ref. That's a bit dirty. I'd have gave that round to Peyton, to be honest. Let's keep going. Right, next round, round three coming up. It wasn't just None of them have faded yet. Here we go. Round two. Oh, round three, even. <laughs> Peyton, see that one coming. Nice body shot. Eats a head kick, though. Austin, I feel like he's getting tired. I feel like he's throwing a lot of spinning moves. Peyton is kind of... He's blocking a lot of them. He's moving out of the way for some as well. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient. I'd say Peyton. I'd say it's one-one at the moment. First round lost in first round or second round Peyton. Sorry. It isn't by much though. This is a very close fight. It's, a, it's kind of a chess match as well. Sixty-five to forty-nine. Very close indeed. Okay. Austin, the bigger man, so he's going to have that range. Peyton definitely needs to get in on the inside and start landing. He's going to just pick him apart with kicks if he's not careful. Nice strike. Beautiful strike. Come on, Peyton, bro. You got this. We'll see what happens, though. Nice there. That's what we wanted. Knee coming in there. Austin, I've got to say, is a very good counter striker. Three you guys would like to see a career mode on Austin. <laughs> we could do that as well. I feel like he's a very interesting well, character. A bit of a villain. Down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. He's not even a good villain, though. He's, he's, he's just a snake. Beautiful kick. Teeing off there, though. Starting to land a little bit more on Peyton. Good leg kick. Good leg kick. Now, this game, judges really, like, they really prioritize health events. Um... And that's why, I, as well, I've kind of swayed well, the rounds as well. Go for a takedown. Peyton denies it. You've got to land in this clinch. Man. Peyton's just not throwing. I should have blocked there. I don't really know what he's doing. Look at how he turns he's he's butchering up Austin's legs, game. which is good. He but he's got to keep and stick to it. You know, he's just throwing one now and again. He's got to stick to it. Dedicate to throwing at the legs. So he's Another really starting shot. to put nice. together some significant body shots here. These nice movement there. Peyton needs to get in on the inside. He really well, needs to make nice this a brawl. Here, blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Combination for Austin. Very creative. Peyton gets a hold of him. And they separate. That's where Peyton needs to start throwing. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Man. They are pulling out the moves in this fight. Nice leg kick lands. Wow, dude. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find Good the shot to the body, and again, doubling up there. Okay. Peyton obviously having to cut a lot of weight there. Austin taunting him and dropping his hands. Good head kick there for Peyton. Very interesting matchup. Another switch kick to the body. This is a real interesting fight. Peyton there landing. I don't know who I'd give that to. I'm going to edge it to Peyton. I'm going to edge it to Peyton. I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to say 2-1 Peyton. Potentially. Very close. Very hard to score. Maybe I'm just scoring it for Peyton because he's my boy. But there you go. Let's see. Round four though. This could go to a decision. Very close fight. Very close. 
Oh, look like he might have been in range, but this is with the kick. Would you guys want to see a rematch? Let me know. It's been interesting. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect okay. on a high volume of strikes. Front kick there. And a good sign, too. Almost landed. Seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Over and over. Nice shots there. This guy. Push kick to the body as well. Very interesting. Austin there. Is, yeah, I feel like he's getting tagged a lot more. Peyton's starting to find a home. Okay. It's the range, though. Austin's doing a real good job at keeping him at bay with the kicks early. Mal, not so much. Peyton is starting to land a lot more. But that, that was on the back. That didn't land clean at all. Didn't land flush at all. Peyton completely missing there, though. Jeez. What's going on? Now to go. Oh, dude, if that was just a little bit earlier, that would have landed clean. Well, one got landed through, clean, and it probably would have rocked off. Austin. And there comes the separation now. Dude, they are just like throwing, missing, blocking. That's all this is. Good stick. Switch kick there, but Peyton did land a straight. Oh, he lands nice push another kick. strike to the body. He just Peyton's starting to get more confident to here. His opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice shot to the body. Oh, and he lands Big shot to the body. Oh, Austin's down. Oh, Benjamin on top. The looking for the finish. Oh. That is going to go heavy in the judges' scorecard. That's a 10 8. Oh. Leg stomp there for Austin. He got dropped bad in that round, though. Jeez. Nice loop and punch. Man, both boys get kicked down there. <laughs> That's going to go huge. Oh, big spinning kick, though. Austin cannot grapple. Might be too tired. Hey, he's just making this a rough fight for him. Let's go. Let's see. Final minute. He almost finished the fight there as well. Oh, but a big shot for Austin and Peyton's down. Wow, what a fight. What a fight, bro. Even. Kind of annoying, to be honest. I think, I think Peyton might still have won this round. Got to be careful, though. Them kicks are still dangerous from Austin. They're a little bit slower, but they're still dangerous. Puts him down there. It wasn't a knockdown. Just kind of push. Austin's faded. He's tired. What a war. What a war. Going into the fifth round. I think Peyton won that round. Definitely. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. The fifth and final round for the flyweight title. Enemies. What's friends? Let's see. This is where Peyton needs to really, you know, push. He's only got five minutes. Oh, spinning back kick there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really okay. unable to string anything together in terms of. We've seen Peyton drop him. We've seen Austin drop Peyton. A war. You guys want to see a rematch? Let me know. But he's not really sitting down. Let me know. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on oh. landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. Oh, he's out. What? Oh, he my God. It. Yeah, man. How? It. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way How? he drew it up. He found the opening. Austin Bernard knocks Peyton out in the fifth. Extent. Nicely done to finish the man. Hayton Benjamin, beautiful counter left hook though, you cannot deny, what a shot, down goes Peyton, 29 and 3, I think Peyton potentially should stick to bantamweight, he's messing up his legacy going in these other positions, in these other divisions and trying to capture more gold. He, he failed at the uh, attempt with Aturo. He failed at the attempt with Bernard. What a fight, though. What a damn fight. Austin Bernard knocks Peyton out clean, though. And this is the second time Peyton's been in this position where he's tried to go and capture gold in another weight class. And he's only coming up short. It's very upsetting, but he brought a hell of a fight to Austin. I think he was winning. Unlucky there for Peyton Benjamin. Anyway, guys, for today's episode, I am going to end it here. What do we do? A rematch might be in place, but I do feel like Peyton should go back to Bantamweight and uh, get another little win streak going there before he does move 
to, uh, you know, move to another weight class to try and capture gold again. Let me know, though. Let me know what you think. Anyway, for today's episode, going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more EA Sports UFC 4 next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all again in the next video. That knockout, although it is on my boy, is a beautiful finish there. Lovely counter left hand as Peyton goes out. Kind of sad, though, because I did want him to win that, but he was winning it, in my opinion. I'm rambling on. Anyway, have a good one, boys. I'll see you all again tomorrow for another UFC video. Take it easy.